Hi, welcome. Today we're going to make a tune, con puree de batata dos, tuna with puree of sweet potato. This dish is inspired from a beach town in northern Portugal, which I visited. Just a gorgeous town, Costa Nova. Costa Nova, over the last hundred years, has turned from more of a fishing village to a tourist destination. The thing that's so prominent in the town is that Years ago, the fishermen built like little huts to store their equipment and to live closer by the water when they took out their boats earlier in the, in the morning. But over the years, these storage houses have been converted to great family vacation homes. And now the streets are lined with these just gorgeous houses that are painted in vertical stripes, different colors. When I was there, I had a chance to have lunch at a beach restaurant called Bronze Seafood Lounge and Bar. It's right on the beach. And you can see this sear tuna, this is what I'm gonna to try to duplicate today, was fabulous. I mean, just everything about it. The tuna was great, the sweet potatoes, the presentation. So today I'm gonna to try to replicate that dish so you can make it at home also. So we'll get right to it. I have my sweet potato. You wanna cook that thoroughly. Either you could do it in an oven for about 50 minutes or in a microwave for about six. It's good to really get it nice and soft because you're gonna puree it anyway, so that'll make it easier. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-season the tuna with salt. And I'll put this tuna in the refrigerator while I'm preparing the potatoes. Now that the sweet potato has been cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and peel it. You could cook your sweet potato up to a day in advance and just warm it up the day you're gonna use it. Okay, now I'm gonna cut up the sweet potato in about one inch chunks. I'm gonna puree it in the food processor. You could also puree it with a handheld masher if you have one of those or a potato ricer. For about every portion, you want about eight ounces of sweet potato and you want about a tablespoon of melted butter for every eight ounces of sweet potato. So I will put our sweet potato in the food processor, put in the melted butter. I know it's gonna need some salt, so I'm gonna put a little bit of salt now and then I will adjust. I'm gonna use some white pepper, basically just so you don't see black flakes inside the sweet potato, but if you don't care about that appearance, go ahead and use black pepper. Or you even could use some hot sauce like a peaty peaty. I'll start that for just a couple seconds and I'll add some milk. Now I'll add some milk. And now is where the art of cooking comes in because depending on how smooth you want your mashed potatoes, you want to begin tasting it and seeing the consistency. So that already looks pretty good there. I'm gonna taste it for flavor. Could use a little more salt. So I'm using milk, but if you want it to be richer, you could use heavy whipping cream or nottage. That would also be excellent in here. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of turmeric for extra color. This is optional. Next, I'll move the puree into a pan. This is just to keep it warm. You also just could put it like in a ceramic bowl, microwave it to get it up to room temperature. The color looks beautiful. I think I got really close to the way they have it at the restaurant. All right now you wanna put in about a quarter teaspoon of either lemon juice or white wine vinegar. Put a quarter teaspoon, mix it into sweet potatoes a little bit to blend, and then taste it again. If you feel like it could use another quarter teaspoon, add that in. You'll notice it should make the sweet potatoes, the flavor come out even more. Okay, our sweet potatoes are done. And because we're searing this, you wanna make sure your sweet potatoes are done first. This is only gonna be cooked to like rare. So I'm just gonna sear it on both sides. So you wanna make sure you have a great quality piece of tuna. You also wanna make sure that, I bought this today, you wanna make sure you use it the same day. The, the freshness of the tuna is the star of this dish. So make sure you get a great piece and that it's used right away. The salt's on there. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil. The olive oil mainly I put on, it helps the sesame seeds stick to it. I already have my pan heating up. So then I'll just sprinkle some sesame seeds all over. Try to get it to the edges. I don't think this is quite traditional Portuguese, but hey, it was served at a restaurant in Portugal, so I think that counts. Put a little bit on top. 
So you really want to make sure everything's ready to go at this point because you want to sear and serve right away. If I was doing this for a large party, you could sear really quick, like 20 seconds on each side, then right before service, throw it in a really hot oven for about another minute just to bring it up to room temperature. Put the sweet potatoes like on the bottom of the casserole dish with the pieces of tuna sliced on top. And then the oil you'll put in the last second. Um, you could use any type of oil. I'm using extra virgin Portuguese oil here, but you could use like a peanut oil also. And now I would say the most you want to do about a minute on each side. That's my preference. If you really wanted to cook it more to medium rare, maybe two minutes at the most on each side. And I don't play with it. I put it down on the pan. Don't mess with it until you flip it over. So just set a timer for about a minute and then flip it over. That way you won't kick off as many of the sesame seeds. Be careful because this is really hot. So if you want to get the sides, you could just put it on its side for a little bit. And that is it, we're done. Put it on our cutting board. And now you wanna get one of your sharpest knives and just cut it in little thin pieces, maybe like a quarter inch thick. A nice dollop of the patata dos on top, sweet potato. Usually it looks like the way they did this is a nice dollop right on the top. And now with your spoon, just punch down and bring it forward. Now optional, you can put a few chives on top. Sprinkle those on the tuna and on the sweet potato, really brings out the color. And here you have it, atum con puree de patata dos. Just the color of the mashed potato is fabulous. Hope you get a chance to make this. Now go cook for someone you love.